because I, I'll catch it. I, I mentioned this guy's name last time you were on, and you 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 cackled, you giggled, and uh, I I said there's a story behind this guy, and uh, the name is Struther Martin. What we got here is a failure to communicate. <laughs> now, you see, most people would not know the name Struther uh, Martin, but they'll sure favorite. remember that line. Oh, yeah. Oh, Struther yeah. was a client, and, a, and, and, and what you saw is what you get. And, and, and you know, I, I represented Struther, you know, once he already became very established, and, and I... I am watching some of these old movies on uh, the movie channel and uh, some of these old gangster film law movies and Strother pops up all the time with one scene here or one scene there. You know, it's kind of like an Elisha Cook Jr. You yeah. know, coming up. He was, he was just really so sleazy and, and, and street, uh, blue-collar, terrific, terrific man. Um, why I laughed is... is is, is, is Strother didn't really know or care about show business. This was a job to him. He went and did his job uh, and then went, went home uh, to his wife, Helen. And they had uh, a couple of acres um, just north uh, of California uh, near uh, Thousand Oaks. And uh, Strother, every time that, that he'd be working overtime, which most actors love it because, you know, you get paid so much extra money. He called me and said, Steve, so what, Strother? <laughs> he said, I'm killing me here. Uh, you know, I've been working a long time. I need to get home to Helen. <laughs> and I said, oh, okay, Strother, but there's really nothing I can do about it. Can't you talk to the director? There. I said, no, Strother, I can't. Well, I found out why Strother always wanted to get home before the sun went down. After a couple of years, he invited me to come out for, for a little barbecue. I think it was a July 4th or some holiday. And I go out there. And uh, Helen was kind of, if anybody remembers Marjorie Maine, Ma Kettle, sure. and Ma Pa oh, yeah. Kettle movies, you know, um, and was quite an established character actress way before Ma and Pa Kettle, and and she was just you know just heavy set you know with 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 the apron was just you know cooking the pies and the cakes and and that kind of thing and and I had never met Helen before so I met her and and I said Steve you easy come on out on the porch and let's watch it grow and I said <laughs> what let's watch it grow. And I had no idea what he was talking about. So we go out there, and we got a little iced tea, southern iced tea, and they sat me on a rocker, and there the three of us were uh, on this rocking chair on this porch overlooking a marijuana garden. <laughs> <laughs> True story. He says, Steve, he says, look, we can sit here and smoke it and watch it grow. <laughs> It was so surreal <laughs> that he said, you can't watch it in the dark. I don't like overtime, Steve. <laughs> he, said he just wanted to get home to watch his, his weed He grow. wants to watch his marijuana grow. <laughs> <laughs> True story. <laughs>